Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 26, 2022. If you like support channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want our early access to our videos, uh, our signals and so on and so on. The link is down below. So let's look at the, the WTI oil first. And as you can see, we did break below it actually gapped down and then uh, broke significantly lower uh, towards uh, below the 50 moving average. So all the way down to $95.5 dollars per barrel. And that's also an area where we have found major support in the past. We basically need to break this level here in order to go towards the 200 moving average down here at 82. We did bounce from here and that's a sign of, um, of bullishness but it's gonna probably take time before this market really takes to the upside or basically breaks to the downside. So breaking below this level here really makes this market tumble to the, uh, to the downside. And breaking above here, and then we are looking at the level of 108, which is roughly here. Then we're looking at 115 or 116, and then we're looking at 120. So. We may see this market rally back up towards this uh, uh, trend level, back down, and then break to the downside or to the upside. And it's not until we basically do that that I'll be interested in basically investing in this market, trading this market. So if you look at the MACD, it is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at the natural gas, and this market really took off today. Uh, not very surprising as as we were approaching the middle of the bullish band, which should be significant support, as this is also where we find the double top here. So this area here is a level that we need to break. Breaking below that opens the door to this another double top, and that is roughly at 5.5, and we have the 50 moving average also moving in the same direction. So there's a lot of a uh, lot to be doing, done in order to break below the middle of the bullish band and after that significantly more support underneath uh, we are basically in a part of the year where um, demand is going to fall off a cliff uh, this did not go as far as it should have so we got all the way up towards a 7.090 it's above the seven but it ended below seven and that is kind of an indication that people were willing to basically buy this up towards seven and then sell it and give us an indication that we may see this market tomorrow or in the next few days tumble back towards the middle of the bullish band and breaking below that then we will see this market drop all the way down to the 50 moving average roughly at 5.7 however if we get another candlestick here above the um, $7 range, then we may see this market going back up towards $8 um, or beyond that. I don't really, um, at this current stage, it's a waiting game. Uh, it can go to the upside, it also can go to the downside. If you look at technical indicators, they are also mixed. MACD is uh, bearish at this point, stochastic has become bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So if we look at other charts, for example, the four hour chart. We need to get rid of all of this pain here. We can basically see that we ran into a major resistance at the 50 moving average. And we have been running into this resistance several times in the past. We saw it here several times testing it and then broke down. Now we basically rallied up towards the 50 moving average and have started to break down yet again. So 50 moving average in the four hour chart as is significant resistant and that's also where we find around the $7 range. So at this stage, all technical indicators for the four hour chart are also very negative. So breaking below this candlestick here, which is 6.4 in the four hour chart, that opens the door to the 200 moving average down here at this uh, uh, at 5.7 give or 
take. So hope you find this helpful, you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.